As the first rays of the sun touch the earth, a new day of possibility begins. A day powered not by traditional means, but by solar energy. It all starts with a spark of sunlight on a silicon chip. Solar panels today are capable of powering everything from homes to high tech, from the factory floor to your front door. Solar energy promises clean, unlimited power and offers hope against rising energy demands and environmental concerns. We are at Luminous Solar Power Panel Manufacturing Facility in Rudrapur, Uttarakhand. Luminous, which is synonymous with inverters and batteries, is getting into manufacturing of solar panels. This state-of-the-art facility is fully robotic and has a capacity of 500 megawatts. And as we walk the line where machines and manpower mesh, we see solar panels come to life piece by piece, powered by robots. Every panel is tested and every watt is accounted for. Here, robots and people work hand in hand, ensuring every panel is flawlessly crafted from dawn to dusk. But what made Luminous, which is synonymous with batteries and inverters, get into the solar panel manufacturing business? So, uh, you know, uh, solar for us started, uh, I would say somewhere uh, about almost two decades ago, okay? Uh, and we had been operating on solar. Um, we started making solar inverters. We started making specific solar batteries uh, at that point of time. And then after that, we started making solar panels, uh, uh, sourcing solar panels, uh, doing small solar home lighting systems for rural uh, markets. Uh, so it's a journey that we started a long time ago. And now we continue to go on that journey and what we see is that this, the scale of solar is changing and therefore for us it is important to kind of upward integrate and, and get everything in-house and therefore the solar panel started also coming inside. Uh, key part of that as you know as you, we, we always keep seeing for us it's not the panel for us what is important is a full solution okay. that we are able to bring to the customer and we are the unique ones that are able to bring all three of them to the to, to the customer. It's not about manufacturing. Luminous Power is also showcasing through this experience center how solar power can be seamlessly integrated into your everyday functioning. From powering a house to charging EVs to even powering a fuel station. Okay, so what we are representing here is basically our inverters can even run air conditioners, okay. which are basically if you say one ton air conditioner, it so would need, one ton air conditioner. it's a one ton air conditioner, you would need up to three kilowatt uh, kind of a load okay. uh, support and that would mean any of our solar inverters which are greater than three kilowatt can actually support the loads including AC. This means you have to put six solar panels of 550 watt of, on your of, rooftop. For one AC? Uh, for one AC plus additional loads of lights and fans because AC has a starting current okay. which is higher. Okay. So you have to start from three kilowatt. So if you want to support AC you have to start at three kilowatt which is six panels. Okay. But if you are talking about only lights and fans it means you can start from even single panel of luminous. So electric vehicles today, uh, you know India is a market with electric two wheelers, right? So electric two wheelers market in India today are generally uh, built with four kilowatt on an average, uh, four kilowatt hour average battery pack size. Okay. Uh, when you talk about four kilowatt hour, you need, if you're talking about a three kilowatt or a four kilowatt inverter with you, you would need approximately three to four hours to charge your electric vehicle. Okay. And because we have, most of the electric vehicles comes up with their own chargers yeah. and depending on the size of the charger your charging time varies so if you are considering a solar power generation system for yourself it is essential to understand the three types of solutions that is available in the market one we call it as off-grid if you see off-grid on the left hand side of mine basically what we are saying here is that off-grid is not exporting the power back to the grid otherwise we are having a solar panel where where DC power is generated from there we give it to the inverters, inverters convert them into AC power 
AC power is used to you know uh, support all your loads of your home and we have solutions ranging from you know uh, below 2 kva a smaller solution for your residential applications as you are saying and above 2 kva up to 15 kva and we have larger solutions refresh systems up to 250 kva the second type of solution is what we call it as hybrid when it comes to hybrid solution along with off grid you uh, take additional of exporting the extra energy back to the grid so this is what we call it as hybrid solution hybrid solution helps when you are uh, load consumption is actually lower than the amount of energy that you are generating so which means you can store the extra energy somewhere and that's how it helps in storing the energy back to the battery and from there whenever you have an excess power available you can also export it back to the grid so this is acting as a power backup plus also a grid tie system so grid tie system on the third hand is a pure uh, exporting system where it exports the power back to the grid and also supports the load here you will not have the backup so if you see under um, you know a suryagar yojana project uh, uh, program um, most of the the subsidies are given to the grid tie uh, inverter systems of course hybrid inverters almost perform the same function but since there is a storage uh, there is a differentiation and this is what we are seeing if this can be included also in the subsidy or policies that are going to come up solar power is still expensive so how do you get solar to the masses for potential and practical purposes the key lies in making solar affordable and accessible to all. I think in order to encourage affordability, what we've done at least is we've partnered with roughly, I think around 15 kind of financing partners, which are, have extensive reach across India, making it easier for you to not worry about, I suppose, price. What it does is whatever your initial investment is, it, it gets converted into a EMI. Um, and when that's an EMI, it's a monthly payment. What you do get is you get the solution upfront. So you're starting to save money as well once the system is connected. Uh, so hopefully you are able to take the the burden of that initial large capex out and actually amortize it over a period of time uh, and we want to take the equation of price out and actually talk more about value uh, and make things uh, easily uh, affordable or more subscription based for the want of a better word another issue is the over dependence on china you see the cells used in the panels and the machine making these panels are from china Ever we can indigenize in the current industrial ecosystem as it is available in India, it is make in India to that extent. If plastic is available in India, if aluminium is available in India, if glass is available in India, if any component when it comes to, uh, you know, sort of putting it together is available in India, frankly, even if the machines were available in India, we would have got them here. Uh, so whatever can be indigenized is indigenized. Uh, what cannot be indigenized because we are still on our way. I mean, solar adoption is a journey. Cell technologies is, uh, it's no, um, new news to everybody that it's something that the country is moving towards but isn't fully ready yet but even then we have partnered with with some uh, companies to have a portion of that uh, in our uh, in our manufacturing sourcing so that we can actually be always ready with that ecosystem once that ecosystem is full fledged in in the nation we'll be the first uh, to take advantage of that and give a valuable or valued solution to our customers the launch of this facility is perfectly timed with the government Suregar Muft Bijli Yojana. It's a scheme which is aimed at providing one crore household Muft Bijli through solar rooftop installations. So I would say that uh, we we are committed to this journey, and hopefully with with this investment, it is go, with the sorry with the support of the government and the scheme. The, the Prime Minister's uh, scheme for solar in homes is only going to accelerate the adoption of solar because it helps customers. From Rudrapur in Uttarakhand, this is Saurav Kumar with Swagatam Chakrabarti showing you how solar can power your day-to-day -day life. Thanks for watching.